Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and sentient robots. It's Nick. We're going to be doing some late night Let's Play. Getting started in about uh, 20 seconds, something like that. About 20 seconds. Should be fun. I'm excited. You should too. Should be too. No one's watching right now. It's okay. I could, I could stammer. Shall we, uh, shall we start getting this show on the road? I think we shall. I think it's about that time. Welcome to Late Night Let's Play. My name is Nick. And if you're watching right now, kudos to you because you're one of the few. <laughs> this is a completely, um, uh, I guess, uh, just impromptu broadcast. I'm going to start doing more of those. Uh, just kind of random, completely out there broadcast. We're just playing games and stuff, doing more casual things. Um, we got some of our friends from um, uh, from Let's Chat also streaming and doing stuff like that. So you look forward to that too. But tonight we are going to jump right back into um, Dying Light, which is a really awesome game. I'm having a lot of fun playing. So let's jump into that, shall we? I really like this game. You should definitely check it out if you have the ability and the cashola to do so. <laughs> I really highly recommend it. No, we're not playing Fallout just yet. Let's do a copy of that, and let's do Dying Light. The eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after. The 
eyes of the world have been glued to the city of Haran for the past two months, following the outbreak of a previously unknown pathogen. It is not yet clear what has caused this gruesome affliction. The local government's Ministry of Defense erected a quarantine wall shortly after the outbreak. The global relief effort's steady stream of supply drops has sustained what few survivors remain in the city. The Ministry of Defense believes more radical action should be taken to stem the tide of this virus. The question is, are there still non-infected survivors in the city as the GRE maintains? And if so, will the Ministry still go through with a stated plan to annihilate the city in an attempt to wipe out the Haran virus once and for all? Whether by way of the virus or the Ministry's proposed plan, one thing is certain. Haran's days, Haran's days are numbered. numbered. Shit's going down, everybody. Zombie apocalypse. Bolters appear at night and can be found at their feeding grounds, marked on the map. If you hunt for them, be extra careful. They, they're easy to scare, and they run very fast. Bolters feeding grounds are usually protected by volatiles. Ooh. Use firecrackers to distract them. Will do. Craig, you there? Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. Strangest thing, he said he got shaken down by some young man who sounded an awful lot like you. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, yeah, I, I gotta run. I'll talk to you later, Spike. It's better, it appeared we weren't getting any uh, video for a little bit. I fucked it up. Oh, <laughs> 
That means there is an airdrop. Let's try to go get that airdrop, shall we? Hey, what's up, guys? Nick V and Douglay. How you guys doing? See, I'm glad I do late-night broadcasts, so that way, uh, you know, people on the other side of the world get to, to watch a live broadcast. But, yeah, this isn't quite Let's Chat as much as it's a late-night Let's Play. We're just kind of hanging out and playing some video games. But I'm down to chat some comics. I'm down to chat some movies and stuff like that, if, if that's what's on your brains. What's on your minds? What do you guys want to chat about? Acid burn. something really cool. Make sure we're clear over here. And we're gonna blow this shit up. Oh! God. We blew ourselves up. <laughs> the best time travel movie would probably have to go to... Looper? I really liked Looper. We were actually talking about that today on, on the, the episode of Let's Chat uh, Movies. How uh, Rian Johnson is directing episode 7. I'm sorry, episode 8. And we're really looking forward to that because Rian Johnson just did a fucking phenomenal job. Um, Trevor uh, Colin Trevorrow is doing uh, episode 9. Or something like that. But yeah, I, I really liked Looper. Um, we also have, obviously... Uh, I'm trying to fight zombies and talk to you wonderful folks. Um, would have to go to Back to the Future. Uh, or Back from the Future. Depending on what sequel you're talking about. <laughs> uh, what other good time travel movies are there? Um, hmm. It's a good question, man. There's so many good movies out there. Which ones actually had decent time travel plots? I guess Terminator 2 uh, technically counts as a time travel movie. Terminator 1 would definitely be a time travel movie, but I wouldn't call it one of the best time travel movies. Um, best movie ever. Best time travel movie ever. Um, yeah, I would definitely have to say Terminator 2. This is definitely Judgment Day is definitely the best time travel movie ever made. James Cameron, um, Robert Patrick, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lin Linda Hamilton, um, God, Eddie Furlong, just an amazing cast, an amazing premise, an amazing plot, amazing story. Just everything about it was fucking phenomenal. And uh, that's a personal favorite. Yeah, yeah, Nick V is with me. There's only one correct answer, and that's Terminator. Yeah. I definitely like Terminator 2 more than Terminator 1, though. I know that's sacrilegious to a lot of people, but without a doubt, like, that's, that's definitely the best in my opinion. Yeah. 
What's your What's your personal favorite time travel movie, Dubai? Because I know Nick V is. It's it's uh, we're we're the same when uh when the Terminator, Terminator thing. How about uh, best space movie, excluding Star Wars, like standalone, single, you know, space movie. Not talking franchises like Star Trek or anything like that. But what, what's one of the better uh, space travel movies? Uh, me personally, I really like Mission to Mars. I really, really like Mission to Mars with Don Cheadle and uh, and uh, Gary Sinise. It was a really cool one. You even get to see uh, Jerry O'Connell, I think his name is. Uh, die and freeze his head, which is not what would happen, but yeah. You know, Eddie Furlong didn't just do one movie, he did several movies. He did, uh, fuck, he was in Pet Cemetery. You know? He, he was, uh, he was in, um, Detroit Rock City, which is a cult classic movie. Really fucking funny. Um, so yeah, I don't. I don't think he's disappeared. <laughs> the zombies go boom. Yeah, Back to the Future, um, I don't blame you making that your all-time favorite time travel movie. I mean, it's just so much fun, and, like, fucking Marty McFly, and, you know, a large plot point was him not trying to fuck his own mother, you know? Like, come on! <laughs> uh, what, what, what do you mean by DRC? Did I say, did I, did I actually mention DRC, and you're abbreviating it, and I don't even remember what the fuck I was talking about? <laughs> oh, Detroit Rock City. No, Detroit Rock City was long after T2, dude. Uh, yeah, that was almost like a decade and a half later. Um, yeah. Because uh, Terminator 2 came out in 92. And Eddie Furlong has kind of always looked like a child. I know it's... I know that's not working out for him too well, but I mean, he is a great actor. He just, you know, he's got to stay focused and people have to stop trying to cast him in shit that he shouldn't act in. Interstellar was a really great uh, space movie. The only thing about Interstellar, though, that really irked me was the end piece. Uh, if you guys want to talk spoilers, let me know if we can talk spoilers about Interstellar. God, that heavy swing is the shit, man, I'm telling you. <sighs> oh, sorry, I'm yawning. That's how casual this broadcast is. Oh shit, I'm gonna die! Wow, can't believe I made it. Let's, here's a, here's a drop kick for the good old, rest in peace, Roddy Roddy Piper. Uh, that's for you. That one was for you, baby. I'm here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of fucking gum. Oh shit. Hey, Lanka. <laughs> So what do you guys think about, uh, <laughs> it's over a year old, after after six months any movie is spoiler free. Yeah, it's my thing about and Interstellar was at the very end when they're trying to talk about uh, the way that, that quantum mechanics work and how like you could travel in between dimensions and shit like that. It just seemed really silly for him to be trapped behind a fucking bookcase. And yeah, the, the whole, exactly, the whole black hole scene was really, really out there. 
I think that um, it had something going for it, like when they first traveled to the black hole, that that was really cool. And then uh, Anne Hathaway is like, I've been touched, they touched me. Like, oh shit, that's amazing. But then when it turned out to just be him, you know, trying to warn them or trying to help them out, and then the whole fucking thing where he's like using the page to magnetize the fucking the, the watch so that way he could give a, a message to his daughter via that like dude what kind of fucking acid were they on when they were writing that i mean i i love christopher nolan i think he's a phenomenal director um i think only christopher nolan could make a film like interstellar but still it just i think it really fell apart near the end if i had to reboot a classic film which would it be um you know i uh they're a they already are remaking it actually, but it's it seems like it's just taking forever for them to get around to it. Uh, but I I would really like to see Lawrence of Arabia. I think that would be a fucking phenomenal remake. L Lawrence of Arabia done today by Disney with the whole like I don't know if you guys heard, but earlier today in the, in the Let's Chat movies we're talking about how Jurassic not Jurassic Park um uh, Jungle Book is uh, stated to be the most technologically advanced film ever made. And this is coming from Disney, so you know this shit is true. So I am excited for Lawrence of Arabia to be coming from that studio using that type of technology, making it, like, fucking just unbelievably beautiful. Um, something that's really difficult in film. And uh, one of the reasons, not the, the main reason, but one of the reasons why filmmakers use CG uh, to do outdoor scenes is one, it's cheaper, and two, it's really difficult to capture the depth of field. You know, the scale, the scope of what something is, of how big someone is against the side of a mountain or something like that. So sometimes they'll use CG, sometimes they'll just, you know, kind of uh, embellish a scene with that. So they'll be in a real location, but they'll just add in like a couple flourishes here and there to give it depth, to give it like a, a sense of surrealism. Like um, that, that happened a lot in the new Mad Max Fury Road film where they used a lot of practical effects, but they also used CG just to just to embellish it a little bit, just to give it a little more flavor. You know what I mean? A little MSG on top of your Chinese food, if you will. Um, but yeah, I would say Lawrence of Arabia would be a really cool remake. Um, uh, contrary to what a lot of other people feel, I'm kind of excited for the Ghostbusters remake. I think that's a really good uh, uh, remake uh, coming out, because I really like, uh, was it Paul Feig? Uh, yeah, Paul Feig and, and Kristen Wiig and, and Melissa McCarthy, like, it's just all really great stuff, and honestly, Melissa McCarthy is a really fucking funny actress, it's just that she needs to step away from the standard, like, ah, I'm fat, I'm falling down, and she's starting to step out of that, luckily. She's starting to move away from that, which is really crazy. Yeah, Nick V is, is mentioning there that it's really hard to do lighting in jungle and forest locations, it's hard to do lighting in, in, in wet locations. Um, where you have to, like, run a lot of electricity out in the middle of fucking nowhere, you're running generators and shit, it's really difficult if it's a very rainy or wet place. Um, you know, cameras want to be on something solid, and sometimes that's not always accessible and easy when you do things in the wilderness, in the jungle, in the, in the woods, and in, the, in a tundra scenario, in a tundra scene. But, um... What other classic films would I want to be remade? Um, you know, it's a mad, 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 mad world is a really great film from the 60s. And they kind of remade that into a film called Rat Race. Um, Rat Race was a fucking great, great, great movie. Um, actually, I don't know if Paul Feig had anything to do with Freaks and Geeks. I'm pretty sure that was Judd Apatow, but I could be wrong. Um... Once, I, once I'm no longer being chased by zombies, I will look it up. Alright, let's check it out. Uh, let's look. Paul Feig. Let's look at his previous work. Because I know he's done Bridesmaids. I know he's done a lot of work. And I could also use a little vape break. I need some vape in my life. A little Rage and Raspberry, huh? Paul Feig, born in September 17th, 1962. Why don't I go and pop up the camera on for you guys? 
I'll say hello with my face. Oh shit, I'm being killed. <laughs> oh well. So, you like my neck pillow? It's very comfortable. But yeah, let's look at Paul Feig's. Um, Paul Feig, born September 17th. His birthday's coming up, so send him a uh, birthday tweet. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. May even favorite it. Uh, he is very active on the social media. Okay, so he's done Spy as an actor. No, I don't want to see his acting work. He's actually been in a lot of stuff. He was Alex the guitarist in Freaks and Geeks. He's on the Drew Carey Show. Men Behaving Badly, Hardball, Roseanne. Yeah, he's kind of he's been an actor in quite a few things. He's a director of 23 pictures. He's got uh, Ghostbusters, The Heat 2. Wait, The Heat? Like, like The Heat? As in the Al Pacino... Oh, no. Okay, no, no, no. This is... <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so apparently The Heat came out in 2013 starring Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy, and I never heard of it. I've never even seen it. It looks like a fucking awesome 80s cop movie that looks really cool. <laughs> wow, alright, so we'll be on the lookout for The Heat too. Let's look what else he's done. Spy, People in New Jersey, The Heat, Bridesmaids, um... The Office, 14 episodes of The Office. Uh, he actually got the Goodbye Michael episode, where they say goodbye to the main character. <laughs> and the show immediately went downhill from there. Uh, one episode of Parks and Recreation, Bored to Death. Um, Freaks and Geeks, director of one episode, Discos and Dragons. He is not the creator of Freaks and Geeks. Um... Let's see, created 18, Freaks and Geeks, TV series created by 18 episodes. Holy shit, no, you are absolutely right. He is the creator of that. He wrote six episodes and is the overarching, like, guy behind the show. Interesting, I did not know that. And I apologize for doubting you, Nick V. I, sh I need to never doubt you again. <laughs> No, not not a fan of the uh, of the freaks and geeks, huh? I liked it a lot. I kind of stopped watching after a while, to be totally honest. Um, and then I picked it up again years later and watched the rest of it, and I was like, oh well, I'm kind of glad I didn't fucking you know, I stopped watching because like it would have ended abruptly, and I would have been very upset by that. <laughs> I would have been so invested in these fucking characters, and like nothing would have worked out. Mm. Yes, yes. So, Nick V, tell me, man, um, you played in a band. Is, is any of that material available on the internets? I'll leave a uh, little link in the description or something like that. Let me know, man. Let me know. So, a game I've kind of been addicted to lately is Fallout Shelter. I've been hopelessly addicted to fucking Fallout Shelter. I'm loving that game like crazy. As a matter of fact, I, I don't know uh, why don't we why don't we fire that up right now? That would be kind of fun, right? I'll switch over the title of the broadcast. Fallout Shelter. We'll just leave Dying Light leaving you know, running in the background. It's no problem. No problem. No problem. Jump over there. Put our webcam back on. Wow, we've really been going for 27 minutes, huh? It's fucking crazy. Fucking crazy, man. Let's let's put up the Fallout shelter. We got it. We have to get to the Fallout shelter or we will die. Connect to my I'm doing some really wacky shit over here in order to make this work on the stream. Uh, technical stuff aside, which nobody cares about. Like I'm telling you, this is some really, this is some out there stuff, man. Okay, if I can get it to work again, damn it. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Beautiful.
position horizontally. There we go. Uh, might have some old recordings somewhere on the computer. Well, fucking send them over, man. Um, I think you, you're you following me on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, send me a tweet. And uh, maybe we'll play it on the show or something like that. Because you definitely have a good taste in music. I'll tell you that much. Um, you listen to some really cool stuff. You were familiar with uh, the Atomic Bitch Wax that we were playing. Uh, no, it's not BlueStacks. It's um, and it's not iOS either. I'm playing on Android. This is um, this is Team Viewer, uh, Quick Support. It actually allows you to control it, uh, control your phone or whatever from from your computer. And I actually figured out, hey, I can actually stream video games and shit like that on here. So why don't we go ahead and remove the uh, Let's get rid of the intermission ticker. There we go. And uh, I, I deleted all my vaults just to start a new game for you guys, just to, ha just to have some fun here. So let's start a brand new vault. And uh, let's start with the, with the very first vault in the very first game, Fallout 1. It was vault 13. Uh, I think that was the Lone Wanderer. What's the name of the guy that you're playing in that game? The Lone Wanderer. And basically you have to go pick up a water chip. Uh, the water chip allows them to, um, you know, to drink fucking clean water. <laughs> and they desperately need that. If they don't have clean water, then they're in trouble, you know? Um, hey, I gotta, I gotta go handle something real quick. I will be right back, but enjoy the intro movie here. I'll turn up the volume. Blue stacks. It emulates Android on PC, yeah. And is the frame rate pretty good? Like, do you get a high frame rate, or is it uh, is it a little choppy? Because right now, I, I'm I'm assuming that this is probably the best frame rate that I'm gonna get with it. It's high quality. It's colored well, and I can actually play it on my phone. Um, so I can like go in the other room actually and just keep streaming this, which is kind of interesting. I'll be right back. And I'm back, my friends. It's a little bit choppy, but that's because your PC is eight years old. Yeah, I'm running a fucking bad machine right now. Like, when I say bad, I mean, like, really effing good. Um, I got, like, 16 gigs of RAM. I got a really great video card. I have um, uh, patience. Nah, <laughs> really good video card. It's a, it's a great uh, Asus machine, ROG Republic of Gamers machine that I just bought from last year. Um, I'm digging it a lot. It's treating me well. It's taking care of things. Anyway, this is um, Fallout Shelter, and essentially it walks you through playing the, the game, um, starting it out. So we're going to go ahead and build uh, a power generator so that we can give our citizens power. Um, build it down here in the second level. I don't really have a, a set strategy for this game just yet because I've been kind of getting my ass kicked. To be quite frank, I've been I've been getting my ass kicked big time in this game. Nothing I do seems to work. <laughs> Just give a listen. Make sure I can you guys can hear me from the stream. Yeah, it sounds pretty good to me. So uh, what I'm doing, basically, it's telling me to drag and assign uh, dwellers to the specific room. So if I go over here... Uh, it, won't, it won't let me control the game the way I want to yet. 
But yeah, I'm putting them into the power generator room. And they're going to work for me. They're going to work their asses off. And not get any pay. They're going to get food. It's indentured servitude. That's the way we get down with our vaults now. <laughs> Alright, now we can double tap. So, we're going to double tap. And now we're looking at the... Uh, power generator room and it's going to take two minutes and 30 seconds to generate 10 power as you can see we are in desperate need of power and if we don't get the power it's going to start shutting off rooms one by one so let's go ahead and rush this and see if uh, we get an accident success I like success success is good we got a shit ton of caps let's build a second room I'm down with it we need a diner so we could feed motherfuckers. Motherfuckers get hungry. All right, let's put the diner. Uh, let's put the diner there. And it also wants us to build a water treatment plant so we can water our citizens. <laughs> Give them some water. We'll put it right next to the diner for now. Okay. Wonderful. All right, so now we got a bunch of citizens. Basically, they have a special meter. And uh, here you can see that this guy's strength is high. Uh, perception is on one. Uh, he's got essentially two strength. Oh, three strength. Nice. I didn't... For some reason, I've been playing this for a long time. I've never seen this before. This might be an update. This might have just came into the game now. But yeah, uh, you want to drag them into the respective room. Like, if I click on the diner... I will see that it requires agility in order to really make it good, in order to work it well. <laughs> in order to work it well. So, let's see. We're going to drag this guy into the power generator room. Because he's got high strength. Who else do we got here? She's kind of average, no offense. So we're just going to put her in... I'm going to put her in the diner. And these people don't really matter. And I'm going to have these two make a baby. <laughs> Just start it out early. Make him, make him fuck. Let's make him fuck. Hello, my new viewers over there on Twitch. I see a few people just jumped into the room. And hello, my viewers on the YouTubes as well. Someone else is in there who has not said hello yet in the chat. Hello to you. Not singling you out or anything, but, you know. Ooh, you're so attractive, he says. This is this is the, uh, this is the living quarters where everybody, like, gets down. We gotta try and get in the middle of that. Love, leave them alone. This is not for you. This is, this is not for you. I'm gonna have you guard the entrance. How about that? Oh, wait, nobody's working the diner. Get your ass in the diner. Work that. Come on, you gotta pull your weight around here in the vault. We don't we don't like freeloaders. Alright, we got another citizen coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and build I'm gonna extend out my living quarters here. There we go. You actually have to click on the uh, the things that they produce in order to put it up there. If you have a robot, like a Mr. Handy, haha, <laughs> sounds so dirty, uh, Mr. Handy, you can actually go about um, uh, having him automatically collect those things on screen. So let's see. We have uh, Barbara Hart, who has enhanced intelligence, it appears. So we can't utilize her intelligence yet, but don't worry. We will, eventually, we will. Uh, let's put her in the diner. Put her hard to work at the diner. Uh, and so far, so good. I think we could just chill now. And just kick back and relax. The smush room, that's right. It is the smush room. <laughs> I like that. I was going to start calling the, the living quarters now. I put them in the smush room. And they're going to stick it to each other. <laughs> I love it.
So I want to ask you guys over there in the chat, have you heard about Civil War, the uh, the new trailer that came out? It's not really a trailer as much as a sizzle reel. We talked about it a little bit on uh, Let's Chat Movies, which is actually up. We streamed it live to YouTube, just like you're watching right now. And um, you can you can watch it after this or during this. I don't whatever you want. You might actually find the Let's Chat movies to be a little bit more interesting, but who knows? Who knows? Um, we we're talking about Civil War, and we were discussing how um, you know it's a bit crowded, and we don't necessarily know the stakes of the film. Uh, we were kind of split down the middle. Some of us were excited about it, some of us were not. What do you guys think? Are you excited about the, uh, the May sixth release of? Uh, Captain America 3 Civil War? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's chat. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, how is it that you have this film, which is essentially Avengers 2.5, yet still have Captain America shine? How do you have him not be cluttered? You know, have, have him, uh, you know, have him stand out in the clutter of the characters. Uh, Nick V says he wants to see Captain America shot in the head. Um, I don't remember that ever really happening. Uh, Captain America was shot, not in the head. All right, I'm going to put these two in the smush room. Look, he's got high charisma. She's got one charisma. He's got three charisma. There's definitely going to be some smushing going on. Oh, and Duke Lay, I, I also noticed that recently you subscribed to the channel. I want to thank you personally for your subscription. Uh, everyone counts. I mean, like, just recently I wanted to do a 24-hour uh, a live stream uh, c celebrating uh, 125 subscribers. Now we're at 128. That was just yesterday uh, we ended the live stream. So it's pretty crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, thank you very much, Duke Lay. Really appreciate it. Nick V says, happened short after Civil War, two in the back by Crossbones, one in the head by Sharon Carter. She's being mind controlled. Yeah, no, what I, my, see, maybe I have to go back and, and reread uh, Civil War, but from what I remember, um, he was shot by Crossbones. Or no, 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 he, his Crossbones had shot a bunch of bullets to create a distraction to disperse the crowd. Sharon Carter takes um, takes Captain America to the side because he's like handcuffed and she takes him to the side to protect him where she shoots him twice in the abdomen and he dies later on on the table on a helicarrier in front of Iron Man. That's when Bucky takes over. But I'm almost positive 
that he's not shot in the head, that he's shot in the abdomen after Crossbones creates a diversion. But I'll go back and check. I know I've said that I wasn't going to disagree with you, but I'm pretty certain that's it. <laughs> You're gonna you're gonna unsubscribe now because I keep disagreeing with you. I know it. I know it. Would it be weird if I went on somebody else? Oh shit, my people are starving. I need to do something about that. Um, fuck. Alright, let's see. Let's build an... No, an elevator is going to be too expensive. Um, let's just go ahead and build a diner. This is not the way I like to play, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Um, usually I think it's better to keep everything together. I haven't actually played in this way yet. I'm kind of experimenting yet. Really, Nick V hated uh, Marvel Comics for over a year after Civil War. Was it because it was too, like, reedy? Like, it was too wordy? Was that, was that the problem? I'm curious. I'm going to go jump on somebody else's live stream right now. And just be like, hey, what's up, man? Because I'm going to go to the person with, with fucking one viewer. Just be like, what's up, dude? <laughs> Look, they're gonna fuck. They're fucking. If you fucking, then you probably 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 having some sex. Yes, if you fucking. All right, enough of that song. We got another person. Jesus, our vault is like crazy popular right now, man. Like everybody wants to come and fucking chill, and like we don't, we ain't got the space, baby. We ain't got the resources, unless your ass is going to go to work. Alright, so I'm, I'm on some other guy's stream, or some person, I don't know, Dom, Domine, and they want me to listen, so I'm going to turn on my speakers and have a listen. Howdy. Okay. Speakers on. <laughs> oh no, my people are starving. What's happening, Domine? Talk to me, man. So Nick V, uh, while we're uh, while we're chatting a little bit, um, you know, they ruined Cap, and in Civil War the Nazis won. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think that was kind of the point, though, that they had to deal with the repercussions of that.
Up oh, the person. See, I outstreamed him. What happened? Come back. We were, we were fucking chilling, dude. It was two guys playing the same game on two different streams. That was that's some next level shit, man. That is meta as fuck. If you ask me, personally, you didn't ask me personally, but I'm gonna answer anyway. Yeah, he didn't know when to stop. You see, the thing with uh, with Civil War is that um, the repercussions of that were going on for a long time. Like, we had, um, we had fucking, um, sorry, we had Iron Man, uh, still dealing with the, with the registration, we, we had a bunch of people still fighting, still on opposite sides, still in exile, we had all kinds of things going on, and we were actually talking about that today, about how inevitably, uh, that's going to bleed out into the shows, into the TV shows and such, into Daredevil, into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff like that. So I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen. I'm not really looking forward to having uh, Civil War just wrap up neatly, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm kind of looking forward to kind of dragging it out and, ha and being really cool. Let me let me go check out this guy's stream again, though. I'll be right back with you in a moment. But keep you, uh, tell me what, what you're uh, looking forward to in Civil War and what you're not. Because even if you didn't like Civil War the comic, is the movie kind of interesting to you? I'll tell you a little bit more about the uh, sizzle reel in a moment. Okay, that was something else. <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that again. Uh, let's see. I just wanted to see them fight for a bit. Spider-Man appear, and I guess, uh, I'm guessing Black Widow will betray Tony Stark, because Black Widow would never be on Stark's side. Um, she kind of started on Stark's side, but yeah, she may kind of be fed up with the shit at this point. You know what I mean? I, I wouldn't blame her for that at all. Uh, let's see what we could do around our vault. I'm going to pop up this Nerd Feed article. Um, it's actually, it, it, it derived from a comicbook.com article, which talks about the Civil War uh, sizzle reel in depth. We're going to go ahead and talk about that right now while I uh, casually play this game. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Nerd Feed's kind of acting up right now. Probably shouldn't say that live on the air. Oh, because they're doing updates and shit. Okay. So anyway, let's see. Um, here is the sizzle reel description as per comicbook.com. Uh, be quiet, guys. I'm, I know you're hungry, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to do a show as well. 
So, a scene showed Captain America and the Falcon fighting crossbones with Black Widow aiding in the background. Another scene revealed uh, the Falcon's pet Falcon, Red Wing. That's right, Red Wing is there, and he's a drone. It's like a robot kind of thing that you might see in Call of Duty, which is pretty interesting if you ask me. Uh, let's see, in another shot, it's revealed that Black Widow and Hawkeye are fighting. Black Widow asks, are we still friends? To which Hawkeye responds, eh, it depends on how hard you hit me. And this confirms that Black Widow and Hawkeye will be on opposing sides of Civil War's conflict. Uh, another scene showed uh, Bucky Barnes trapped in a cage, a.k.a. the Winter Soldier. Another shot showed uh, Black Panther in action for the first time, popping his claws. Yeah, I think my vault dwellers are fucked. I think they're all going to die. Um, another scene shows Paul Rudd's Ant-Man being brought into Captain America's faction. Starstruck, Ant-Man stammers. I know you're, you know, you know a lot of super people. Uh, so I just want to say uh, thanks for thanking me. I mean, thanks for thinking of me. Tony Stark in the next scene uh, is arguing with Steve Rogers and their... Uh, opposing ideologies with Stark saying, without boundaries, we're no better than them. So there it is. That's the whole sizzle reel. Um, currently, they're shooting some stuff with Mark Ruffalo in Germany, as well as uh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland is slated to play Spider-Man. And uh, contrary to earlier reports, Spider-Man is slated to have a very, very big role, a very important role in this film. Um, guys, what do you think about that, guys and gals in the chat? Also, if you guys are watching this in the post-show, uh, not live, just on YouTube or in the archives of Twitch, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Spider-Man casting and, uh, you know, Mark Ruffalo being in Civil War for a very short piece. What do you think Spider-Man's going to do? Because this obviously is not going to be the standard, um, you know, Civil War story that we know from the comics. So what what's Spider-Man going to do? What role will he serve in that? Let me know, guys. You guys have some really interesting points. I love I love chatting with you. Let's see how we can fix our fucking vault, man, because these people are screwed. <laughs> they're, they're starving and shit. Uh, Alright, so what if we got enough power, which is weird, because it's only these two fucking people working in the power room. Oh, but I see. Okay, so because our, our limit's right there. That's the most we can hold on to. The comments are coming in, ladies and gents. Spider-Man is important in Civil War. He is. He represents the reader in the comic book, yes. And he's torn between uh, not only is Tony Stark, but Captain America and every other superhero that's stuck in the Civil War. He's kind of... He's supposed to be that gray area in morality, saying, eh, you got some good points, and yeah, you got some good points, too. It's very important for him to be there. Um, but Peter Parker in the comic is also much older than Tom Holland is portraying Spider-Man in this film. Peter Parker has already saved the world many times. You know, Peter Parker is, like, in his 30s at that point. Uh, he's been married. You know, he's, he's, he's a much more mature character, so it makes more sense for him to be torn in between these two characters. For Tom Holland to be torn in between, uh, you know, Captain America... And uh, Tony Stark, well, that just makes them assholes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's not, that's not very fucking good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take every vault dweller that I have right now, and I'm going to send their asses into the wasteland. And let them fucking find me some shit. Come back with some stuff. Some stuff and things. You know, Mark Ruffalo, uh, he wasn't supposed to be in Civil War until RDJ made a phone call and said, eh, I think my buddy can be in the movie, you know, the Hulk can be in the movie for like a little while. Yeah, okay, Fallout Shelter 112 on Twitch. I don't think that's happening, buddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't, I don't really like that type of shit, you know what I mean? Like, I, I went on somebody else's channel, I said hello, I didn't start plugging my stuff. That's not cool. I don't appreciate that. Respect my channel. Respect my channel! <laughs> I made some jello a little while ago, and I kind of want to eat it. 
kind of want to eat the jello, but I, I don't know if it's uh, I don't think it's very appropriate to be eating jello on a live uh, broadcast. I did say it's casual. I don't know if it's that casual though. That might be a little too casual for me. If you dig, do you dig? At first, he's all persuaded by Iron Man's reasoning and logic, but after seeing the execution, he switches to Cap's logic. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, that's a dark-ass book, man. Um, it's really fucking messed up what happened to, uh, not Giant Man. What's, was it Giant Man? Who, who, who was killed? Who was killed by Ragnarok? Let me know if you if you guys remember that from the comics. What's up with that Ragnarok? Who did he kill in that big ass battle in Civil War? You know what I'm talking about. The big fucking main battle that happened like halfway through the book. Was that that wasn't Giant Man, that was I don't know. It's Credence Clearwater. <laughs> what did it say it was Credence Clearwater? Yeah. Hey, what's going on over there in the Twitch? Killer B seventy one. How you doing, man? Or gal, lady, person? Good to see you, Goliath. Thank you. It wasn't Giant Man. It was Goliath that got killed uh, at the uh, in the middle of Civil War during that really fucked up battle with everybody. It seems like I managed to stabilize my. No, it was definitely Goliath. Yeah. Um, it seems like I've managed to stabilize my vault. That even though just left behind are these poor uh, pregnant women that are that are sick with radiation poisoning, I think we're gonna make it. Let me just go ahead and put them down here in the water place, in the water treatment center. Make sure we're getting enough water. I think that's important. So Killer B, man, talk to me. How you doing? How's your evening? Do you have Fallout Shelter? Do you think it's a good game? Because I think it's a hella good game. So much so that I had to figure out a way to fucking stream it. <laughs> I'm doing it in the least convenient way. I've seen other streamers uh, doing a much better job with uh, with streaming, but hopefully you're you're digging the game. Hopefully you're getting the quality of it, and you're you're seeing my uh, my lack of strategy, as it were. We also uh, we do a comics broadcast, a movie broadcast, and stuff like that live on Twitch, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 9 p.m. So, I'm talking to some people on YouTube that also watch that show. We're talking about Captain America Civil War. Uh, are you interested in that sort of stuff? Do you watch uh, Killer Bee? Do you watch, like, uh, Civil War and MCU movies? Are you excited for the new stuff that's coming out next year? I also talked about Doctor Strange, which was looking pretty good. Everybody over there in the YouTube chat, let me know what you think about the... Um let me know what you think about Doctor Strange, because, like, we didn't unfortunately get to see much about it, uh, but we did hear about it. We did get to hear about their civil, uh, their sizzle reel, and uh, holy shit, man, that that movie sounds like it's going to be really crazy, really psychedelic, really fun. I'm excited for it. Nick V over there on YouTube says he's downloading Fallout Shelter right now. Yeah, man, I love it. I love this game. <laughs> Um, my, my girlfriend is hopelessly addicted to it as well. I, I made her some dinner, and she's just sitting there at the table fucking tapping away, and she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I don't care if you're playing a fucking game that you enjoy. You got two days off from work, you know? I don't have to work tomorrow. Let's fucking enjoy ourselves. Let's play some Fallout Shelter. Hmm. Yeah, Killer Beast says that he doesn't watch that stuff, but he might. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a lot to get into, and I kind of feel like for... The for the non comic book reader, it can be a little bit overwhelming because at this point, it, it seems like they're coming out with like fucking five movies per year, and you have to watch every one in order to understand like why this character is introduced. It's becoming almost as complicated, as complex, and as convoluted as the comic books themselves. You know what I mean? Killer B though, tell me what you what some of your favorite parts of Fallout Shelter is. Maybe tell tell me a little bit about your strategy. Uh, how you discovered the game, how long you've been playing, and I'm very curious. Nick V says his Wi-Fi sucks. I'm sorry, man. I you know I figured that the um, I figured that the Netherlands would actually have a pretty decent Wi-Fi connection compared to out here, because like shit, man. My my down speed is about 40 on a good day. My up speed is about five on a good day, and that's definitely not wireless. That's not Wi-Fi. That's that's connected via an Ethernet cable. Um, that's the best I can do. 
Uh, you know, I think we might actually go in between. We might cycle back and forth playing this game and uh, Dying Light. Why don't we go check on our game in Dying Light and see what's going on over there. Oops, not that. Let's see what's up in Dying Light. All right. So, we are playing Dying Light again. We're just going to keep a, an eye on what's happening in our uh, in our game here. Let me uh, let me put that up in the corner. Window cap. We're play that's right, guys. We're playing two fucking games simultaneously. <laughs> Fallout Shelter. Let's add that in there. And let's add that in there, I think. Yes, that's it. So, uh, I don't know if this has ever been done before, but we're going to try it out. We're going to play two games simultaneously. It's going to be really crazy. It's going to give some people headaches. <laughs> yeah, dude, all my vault dwellers have fucking radiation poisoning as well. You can see it up there on the stream, on the screen. Um... They are really getting their butts kicked. They're really getting their asses handed to them via via radiation poisoning. And it's messed up because I can't seem to build the medical bay and the science lab, which allows you to make like stim packs and uh, uh, stim packs and and rat away. I can't seem to make it fast enough before everyone seems to die of radiation poisoning. It's super tough. So you've been playing for four days and still haven't found a strategy. You know, what I've been doing is playing multiple games. I've been playing three games at once and trying to see, um, essentially, like, what the best strategy is. Uh, right now, I, I have most of my wastelanders, or my, my dwellers, exploring the wasteland because they started dying. Ah, no worry, Killer B. We'll catch you next time. Make sure you you follow us and you can see when we do the next broadcast. But have a good night, man. It was glad. Uh, it was good chatting with you. I'm glad you dropped by. We'll see you soon. Nick V over there on YouTube says, uh, "Strange is going to be awesome. Crazy. Oh shit! I'm being attacked by zombies. Ah, oh, you fuck. Get the fuck out of here." There we go. Um, Nick V says, Strange is going to be awesome. Crazy 60s inspired magics and demons and shit. It's awesome. I know, right? It's like fucking something that we would see on, uh, I don't know, on a Weed Eater album or something. Or like, a, you know, fucking, you know what I mean? Like just a really cool psychedelic rock and like an electric wizard or something. Uh, I can't wait to, uh, to score that movie soundtrack with uh, with Electric Wizard. Just have a lot of fucking fun with it. What do you think, uh, you know, Ed Nick V, I'm going to leave this up to you, man. If you could score the Doctor Strange soundtrack just because you have such a great taste in music, who would you who would you have uh, on that soundtrack, on the, on the Doctor Strange soundtrack? Very curious now. I definitely would want a little bit of Atomic Bridge Wax and, and Electric Wizard, for sure. Dropkick off the roof! Oh shit! That hurt. We're dead and a half right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck me. <laughs> uh, yeah man, Weed Eaters are a great band. True story, uh, when I lived in Brooklyn, the drummer of Weed Eater actually, um, actually stayed in my house. He stayed in my apartment for a night or two. Yeah, he was there for two nights. He was playing in another band called um, uh, Whores, actually. Uh, he's no longer in that band, Whores. Uh, but the other guys, Christian and Justin? I, I hope his name is Justin because he was a really cool guy. He played in Norma Jean. Um, but these guys stayed in my house. I cooked them chili. And we had a good time. We, sh we just listened to music for like fucking 18 hours. We listened to music and... Uh, we used to smoke cigarettes at the time. We smoked a lot of cigarettes and you drank a lot. It was just a fucking great time. And uh, even though that music is really hard and it's just really like just fucking blasting metal, you know, those guys are really sweet. They're really humble. They're really kind. They have kids. 
you know they all they care about is just even though they're on tour they just want to get home to their families and just fucking hang out with their kids play with the kid you know it's really cool really oh shit oh fuck. i'm gonna pull up my inventory because i think something is happening in my vault all right so broadcasting tower oh good uh no these people are finding the broadcast tower but it's barricaded so they're not able to get in that sucks uh okay not too bad, not too bad. All these people are really getting their asses kicked. Oh, good. This person found a supply crate. Supply cache. Get your ass back here as soon as possible. Let's figure out what's going on with the vault. Oh, shit. There's a fucking fire. Oh, man. There's a fire in my vault, and I don't have anybody to put it out. The uh, pregnant women won't actually put out fires, unfortunately. Wait. Oh, we got a lunchbox. That's fucking awesome. Why don't we go... Let's go back to Fallout Shelter for a minute. Because this is where the game gets really interesting. Alright, so... If we... Oh my god, this is so bad. It's a fucking rad roach infestation. They can't fight. Okay, let's, let's hope that we get something good in this lunchbox. Alright, Tappy. Caps. Can use always use the caps. Battle armor. Okay, I can put some battle armor on one of these one of these women. Rat away. Excellent. I need some rat away. And what's the last card? So far, n ninja outfit. This is serious. God damn it. Uh, my vault is so fucked. This this there's no hope for anyone here. Here, take the battle armor, take some rat away, feel better. Um, where's your, where's your friend? You. Okay, you are going to wear... I thought I got a ninja suit. Guess not, no ninja suit. Um, alright, you guys have water. You guys need to now go get some power, so... Get me some power. Good, get in there. All right, so Nick V says for the Doctor Strange soundtrack, we got a little bit of uh, Elder, which is good. We got some Witch, of course. Spiritual Beggars, and maybe some Goat Snake. Goat Snake is the only band on the list that I'm not too familiar with, but I trust your opinion. Not a fan of the newer Electric Wizard stuff. The latest Weed Eater album was all right. I agree with both of those sentiments. Um, good luck and Godspeed, or God luck and good speed. That's a really cool album. I like that stuff. I like the stuff that was on there. Um, yeah. Electric Wizard's kind of fallen off, though. I do agree. I would love to talk to them. I'd love to meet them. I think they're fascinating people. I think they're great artists. But, um, yeah, I think um, I think there's only so much music you can make. And, like, you have to realize that Electric Wizard has had a very, very, very long career. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's go back to our game of, uh, Dying Light and, uh, try to escape some zombies. We're supposed to go find a bolter, right? We're supposed to go find a bolter. The thing is, um, I don't know where the hell they are, and, um, like, I don't think, uh, I don't know where they are, and I, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be capable of like actually getting them. All right, so I have to get skin. Okay, night is coming. This is when shit goes down. This is when all the bad things happen in the world. All right, so I'm gonna make my way over to a bolter nest, and I'm going to equip my UV flashlight. And I'm just gonna fucking gun it, man. I'm just gonna gun it. Alright, so far so good. We're getting double points. For running around like mad people. In the darkness.
All right, we're getting pretty close to the bolter nest. Not really sure what I do next. This is where shit gets really scary, though. <laughs> Dude, there's fucking bolters everywhere. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I need to use firecrackers to distract them. Oh, fuck, I don't have any firecrackers. All right, can I make some? Can I make some firecrackers? Let's hope. Yes, I can. I can make three sets of firecrackers. Let's do that immediately. And let's check on our vaults. Let's check on our people. Let's, let's have them come back home. I think it's time to come back home. Recall all of them. Recall. And recall. Recall? Wow, I sent a lot of motherfuckers out there. I just, I did not care. <laughs> Alright, close it up. And let's take that power. Good, good. Um, we still don't have necessarily enough electricity, but we have enough electricity to run. The diner. We should get our asses in the diner. Collect him. We got some caps. Good. We make us some money. We make us some money. So, um... I guess we should upgrade shit. Let's do that. Let's upgrade the kitchen too. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't have enough caps. I'll tell you what, man. Like, mm, still won't have enough. Um, yeah, but you know, this, this kitchen's just using extra power that we don't have. Uh, so let's just do that. Let's make that happen. You motherfucker, get your ass... Get your ass in there, in the water treatment plant. We need, we need water. Good. Oh, you leveled up already. Good stuff. All right. So that's that. Let's go back to Dying Light. Because we're, we're super close. We got some firecrackers brewing up. And apparently, um, the Night Stalkers, or not the Night Stalkers, the Bolters, are deathly afraid of firecrackers or some crazy shit supposed to happen. So I'm gonna make a med kit. I'm gonna make firecrackers. I'm gonna be ready for anything. I'm ready to fuck somebody up. Um, fastball special? What the fuck is this? Uh, ooh, police baton with special small impact to your. And what is this? With this does bleeding. Attacks your effects plus seven. Oh shit, 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 shit! I did not mean to do that. I just used one of my fucking med kits, and those are valuable right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make a fastball special with my police baton. Uh, let's go. Ch oh shit! Okay, let's go check my weapons. <laughs> I am so newbie at this game. Uh, this is broken. We could switch that out with the police baton. Garden Sickle, 88% or 88 damage. This one, oh, this is almost broken. Let's repair it. No repairs left. Oh, shit. All right. Um, let's put Juggernaut on something, too. Let's do it. There we go, Juggernaut. Okay. Here we go. Oh fuck, they saw they see me. They see me. They see me rolling. They hungry. <laughs> All right. Uh Oh fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. No, not really. I don't want to really get fucked, but Oh shit! 
dude, this was such a bad idea. <laughs> Who the fuck told me to do that? Dude, I'm jumping on trees. That's some next level shit. Fuck, run, you fucking dumbass! Fucking clumsy like Benny Hill, man. We gotta get this fucking green glowy bitch. Get that motherfucker. I'm gonna burn his ass with acid when I catch him. Watch. Who the fuck are you? I know, I'm angry, right? This is just brutal. Shit. Oh, fuck. That's it. I'm fucked. I am fucked! I am so fucked. Oh, God. Ow! Alright, watch this, watch this, watch this. Spin around. Acid these motherfuckers. Acid, motherfucker. Dude, this is fucking insanity. <laughs> Are you guys witnessing what the hell is happening? Oh, the bolter got away. I have, like, the equivalent. Ah, shit! Hey, what's up, Fl uh, Flothua? Fl Flothua. I'm gonna just call you Flothua for now, or Flo. How about that? <laughs> Acid, bitch. <laughs> uh, welcome to the stream. We're, we're playing a little bit of uh, Fallout Shelter as well as uh, Dying Light. We're doing a simultaneous uh, YouTube and Twitch stream. Shit's getting weird, shit's getting crazy. Um, we're getting our asses kicked, to be totally honest, man. I'm not very good at this game. I'm supposed to be catch bolters, and I, I, I don't know how to catch a bolter. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go check in on our vault. Let's see what's going on with the vault over here. So how are you doing tonight, Flo? <laughs> Nick V says, uh, put that pussy on a chain whip. <laughs> Put that pussy on the chain whip. If you don't know what that's from, that's actually from a um, fucking, what is it called? Um, it was a Key and Peel bit. That's what it is. Key and Peel. Really great show. So, have you played either of these games, Flo? Do you play uh, Fallout Shelter or uh, the other crazy zombie game that I'm playing, Dying Light? What, what, are, you, what are you rocking with today? Tonight? these days. Personally, I'm playing Fallout Shelter, and I'm getting my ass handed to me in that as well. I'm not doing very well. I, they, they're putting that pussy on a chain wax. <laughs> uh, where's my vape? Where's the vape? Oh, no. Oh, no. Here. Yeah, key and peel. Pussy on a chain wax. Dying Light, but not Fallout Shelter. I hear you. Fallout Shelter's pretty good, man, but like I said, it's a very difficult game. It's very complex, and uh, most people I talk to seem to not have any sort of strategy. So what I did was I sent all these people out of the vault to go and pick some stuff up, uh, to go and collect things from me from the wasteland, and uh, apparently they didn't do too much. They just, they just got hurt. They got really hurt. And now I have to figure out how to heal all of them and feed all of them. So I think everyone in this vault is going to die. I'm pretty certain that everyone in this vault is going to die. Tell me, how do you like uh, Dying Light? Uh, what's, what's your opinions of the game? What's your strategies for the game? Have you finished it? Uh, how far have you gotten? I'm very curious. Wow, we're making a lot of caps now. We're rolling in it now, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this fucking water treatment plant. I know. It's not smart. It's got to be done. We're going to upgrade this water treatment plant instead. So we gotta, we got to really watch how much power we're using. we got to watch the power output here. See? That's a, that's a little indicator here. All right. Everybody get back in the fucking vault so I can go and kill zombies again. Get back to the vault. Do your respective jobs. I'll come check back on you in a little while. I got zombies to kill. we got more pressing matters to tend to. <laughs> uh, 
what's your mod setup? And I finished it. Uh, no mods. I don't have any mods. I, I am not. Maybe I'm not understanding what you mean just yet. But uh, no, this is. Um, I'm running Team Viewer, and I'm recording it off of my phone. Essentially, this is just a live stream coming from my phone onto my computer, and then that's being output to YouTube and Twitch. Yeah, baby, vape. I need to find it, as a matter of fact. I'm going to jump back into Dying Light. Uh, no, you stay You stay there, and you go back to Dying Light. How about that? All right, I'm going to put up the intermission screen just for a second so I can find my vape. Um, here, I'll let you look at my inventory uh, flow, and you can tell me what you think about You can tell me if Nick V is right, if I'm indeed putting the pussy on the chain wax. Um... Because honestly, I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't really know, man. I'm no expert in this game. Uh, here is my current stuff. And I'm trying to get some bolter skin. I don't really know how to kill the bolters or how to, like, distract the... I, I really don't know how to do this solo. I don't. <laughs> Take a look at my inventory while I go find my vape. I'll be right back. That moment when your vape was in your pocket the entire time. <laughs> I'm wearing very comfortable pajama bottoms. I didn't even know. <laughs> hey, Nick Nick V has joined us on the Twitch chat. How you doing, man? I think the problem is none of those are shotguns or bazookas. I wholeheartedly agree with you. Um, if I had a shotgun or a bazooka, we'd be in fucking business. Um, I, I have an assault rifle in my inventory somewhere, but I don't have any ammo for it. Apparently, ammo is very scarce in the apocalypse, which is unfortunate. You know, you'd figure, you'd figure that people would figure a fucking way to make some ammunition on the cheap and on the quick, you know what I mean? I mean, I would. I fucking would. I found my vape. Just give me a moment here. Um, I appreciate you all being very patient while I went to find this. Uh, for some reason, my uh, my Twitch stream seems to be freezing up. Let me know if that's happening for you guys. I seem to get a little bit of freezing going on that I have to restart. Oh, shit! Jermaine Clement and Brett McKenzie have started writing a Flight of the Concords movie. I am down and a half for that, man. I am so down for that. Uh, you know, if I may, uh, I I remember watching the original show... As it aired on HBO, man, I never thought that they would ever revisit that. I thought that it was a property that people weren't watching, that they weren't making a lot of money on. Um, glad to hear they are. Glad to hear it's working out for them. I'm going to go ahead and rush this power station here. And hopefully we don't get a horrible accident. Nice. Nice. Successfully rushed a room. Oh shit! And we get, we get some. Uh, we got a fucking lunchbox. I definitely want to do that. Let's open that lunchbox. What are some of your favorite Flight of the Concords bits? Personally, uh, I just like the ongoing bit with that character. Their one groupie that was played by. Um, oh my god. She's on, uh, fuck, she's on that show, um, Bob's Burgers, 
Uh, what flavor am I vaping? Um, it's Raging Raspberry. Raging Raspberry by, um, I don't know, some random ass e juice company. <laughs> but it is very uh, raspberry. I like to somehow uh, sometimes add in a little menthol and it becomes kind of like a, a minty kind of trident type cherry gum flavor, which I like a lot. We got a stim pack. Some leather armor. And a pussy on a chain wax. We got 100 caps. What's the last thing we got? And a wrestler outfit. Oh my. Kristen Schaal. Thank you so much, Nick. Uh, Kristen Schaal is the, uh, the, the woman that plays their one fan on Flight of the Concords. She's a fucking weirdo. And uh, strangely attractive. Oddly erotic. Hmm? Mm, yeah, it is late night. Let's chat after all. Uh, yeah. All right. So we got a bunch of money now in our vaults. Um, but like I said, I kind of want to, kind of want to get back to our game here, to our dying light game. I'm just gonna see what happens. I'm gonna let the fucking vault just do its thing and see if people do what they're supposed to do. We'll check back on in a little while. Yeah, menthol is is a really nice thing to mix into flavors because it isn't necessarily a flavor in and of itself. It's just like um. It's just minty. It's just an added mintiness, you know, and it, it, it always rolls off the tongue. It comes out of the throat really nicely. And um, if you're eating a lot of garlic and shit like that, it's always good to have a little bit of fucking menthol. Like, ah, clear the palate, you know? <laughs> All right, let's, let's, uh, what are we doing? We're running from zombies. We're killing zombies. I should probably do a mission. Why don't I do a mission? Would you guys like that if I actually went ahead and, and did what I'm supposed to do in the game? Instead of drop kicking zombies all the time. Oh shit. That took me for 40 fucking points of damage. Ouch. Light trap, save me. Light trap, save me. Oh shit. Holy fuck, man. Oh fuck. I'm dead. They got me. They got me. Shawl is Dutch for dish, and yes, she is a most delicious dish indeed. Oh shit, I I forgot to switch over the fucking feed. Alright, I need to set some hotkeys for that. How about that? Let's set some hotkeys for this so we don't fuck up next time. I'll be numpad, and this will be plus. There we go. So we can jump to that, and we can jump back to the game. Okay, I like that. Good, 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 good. You know what? Uh, while we're on the topic, what are some TV shows and or, uh, while we're playing video games, video games that you like to see turned into a movie franchise that you maybe didn't expect to see? Because, like, I'm still in awe over Flight of the Concords. I can't wait to share that with, uh, with my partner. She's going to love that. So, Flo, uh, if you vape, uh, it seems like you're, you're a vapor as well. Uh, not, not a vapor, like a free floating vapor like in Ghostbusters, but you know, a person who vapes, a mad vapist, as it will. Uh, what do you like to, to put in your vape and, and vape? <laughs> what what e-juice flavors do you like? What can you recommend? Because honestly, I'm relatively new to the e-juice game. Uh, I've used uh, disposable uh, vaporizers for a while, but um, yeah, I, I didn't get it. Get it, got it, good. That's right. Um, you know what? Fuck this son of a bitch. I'm tired of being scared of zombies. Fucking eat my flashlight. Science, bitch. Oh, fuck me. Oh, there's so many of them. There's too many of them for this to be fun. <laughs> Tetris the movie. Did you guys see the fucking YouTube trailer for that? They actually made a joke trailer for um, for that. Grown Ups 2 already came out, and it sucked, Duglay. Duglay is over there on YouTube. Uh, for for uh, those of you that are in the Twitch chat right now, he's on the YouTube chat. Grown ups too. Um, yeah, no, you could fuck off with that. <laughs> what's what's the worst sequel ever made? Uh, in my opinion, the worst sequel ever made was Caddyshack. Caddyshack Two is the worst sequel ever made. Yeah, Strawberry Lime Vape sounds really good, actually. That's that's what I'm all about, dude. I love me some lime. I love me some citrus. I always like to drink water with a little bit of citrus in it, you know, some sort of citrus juice. Uh, Alright. So... Let's see what we can't do.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> that motherfucker's tight. He is pissed. He wanted to fucking have some lunch. And his ass got denied. Denied. Do I have any, like, explosive things or anything? Let's, you know, burn this motherfucker until daytime. Wee ha Get back here, you stupid fuck. Where are you going? Where are you going, big boy? Where are you going, playboy? <laughs> Starship Trooper sequels, those were all so bad, every one of them, progressively getting worse. The anime was kind of cool, uh, just because the action, you know what I mean? Like, it had cool action scenes. Uh, really like the Animatrix for the same reason. Animatrix was really cool, just really awesome action scenes and a lot of people dying in horrible ways. <laughs> if, if you're into that type of thing. What's Troll, Duglay? I'm, I've never heard of uh, Troll 2. Troll 1 or 2. Who's in it? What's it about? Let me know, man. I'll, I'll talk about it. Let's chat. <laughs> Don't you love when someone uses the name of the show in the show? I'm not like fucking. It's not so pro. Watch this motherfucker go by. Wait up! Oh shit. Never mind. That did dick. What's wrong? You got a stomach ache? You got a stomach ache? What's wrong? What's up, buddy? You okay? Oh shit, you nasty. Ooh. Fuck. Fuck. Boom! Oh shit, that was awesome. <laughs> we need a fucking instant replay for that, man. Oh, I'm dead again. Dude, I'm losing so many points by just dying over and over. Not the smartest strategy in the game. Um. Fucking A. <laughs> it's, it feels like I played this game to a certain point, and then after that, I just gave up and started streaming me just running around drop-kicking zombies. I really need to get better at it. Um, yeah. If, if you guys over there in the Twitch chat have played this game, let me know some strategies. Let me know what I should do next. Let me know how I can take out some of these, uh, some of these boomers or, or uh, boosters, whatever the fuck their names are. Bolters, bolters. I gotta, t I gotta somehow take out the bolters, and I don't really know how to do that. I almost want to watch a YouTube video on it, like while I do the fucking show. <laughs> Level up one dweller, yay! We got another lunchbox. Let's go check it out. Let's see what's in the lunchbox. Come on, I want to see what's in the lunchbox. Okay, so let's see what we got. Ooh, a fucking scoped 45 millimeter. That's nice. We got 50 power. That's good. I've never seen that card before. Hit them as hard as possible and hope for the best. You know, I fuck, man. I, I maybe my uh, my fighting strategy is bad. Ooh, Peter fucking Hicks. Look at that. His charisma's so high. He fuck anything that moves. He's gonna get everybody in my vault pregnant. I cannot wait for that. Let's let's get some let's get some motherfuckers pregnant. Let's let's. How about some baby making music? Anybody got some baby making music to put on? What's what's the best baby making music for the uh, for the uh, what is it? The Shmoo Room. Oh shit! Ah fuck! Did you see that? <laughs> well, yo, that was fucked up. That was so fucked up. I wasn't paying attention. I was playing this game, and a fucking a volatile jumped on my face and fucking ate me. How fun! All right, so we got this guy in here. Let's get let's get what's what's her name? What's this woman's name? My skin is starting to glow. Glow. That's not good. Why does he have, like, dwarf ears? It's kind of weird. 
sci-fi fan outfit. <laughs> yes, this is every uh, sci-fi creator at a Comic-Con panel. That's what... Yo, look at all these women! <laughs> Do you see this shit? Look at this motherfucker. All these women just walked in all at once on this guy. Like, yeah, we need a piece. We need a piece. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. You know, like... Consent goes both ways. I hope I hope everybody knows that. Let's go back to Dying Light. Let's see what's going on. Alright, it's daytime, it looks like. It looks like it's just about daytime, so we can travel a little bit safely. A little bit more safe. Safely. Um, alright. Why don't we go look at our quests? Okay, sneak up. Sneak close to a bolter during night and get a s tissue sample. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Find Ghazi's place. Let's do that. Really, I just have to look for it? That's fucked up. How am I ever going to find this thing? That's ridiculous. That's completely ridiculous. Oh, sorry. Uh, let's just upgrade this diner. Because they, they need to put out some more food, man. I need some more food for sure. Um, what other quests do we have? Find, find Duada gun. Um, yeah, I don't know where to find that either. Find lavender herbs. I think I have some. Don't I? Let's see if I have that in my inventory. Uh, toxic lichen, fluorescent shrooms, great fun at parties. <laughs> it's fucked up. Um, okay, and let's check up another quest. Talk to Jeff. Oh, good. Okay, let's go talk to Jeff then. Cool, that's something we can do. We need to we need to get rid of some of these side quests, and maybe we can we can get some guns and shit. You know. I think that's really the way to way to be. Pregnant with a stare. That's right. Yeah, Barry White is probably the best baby making music along with Sade. I think Sade if you want to get the fucking mood going. This is no ordinary love. Ordinary love. That's Oh man, I'm getting fucking wet just thinking about it. <laughs> Sounds like something's chasing me. I guess, oh, here's some lavender. Nope, fluorescent shrooms. Okay, get some water production going. Good. So, is it working or what? We can't stand here all day. Oh, we got some soldiers over here? What do I got to fuck these guys up? Alright, I got nothing to fuck him up. It's alright, I can drop kick him! Peace out, motherfucker. Yeah, you don't, you don't, you don't know who you're fucking with. You don't know who you're fucking with, Chief. You gonna run away? Like a little bitch? Oh my god, man. I thought Rise was like, I thought you guys were supposed to be badasses. You can outrun me? He can probably outrun me. Smash Mouth is also really good for baby making. <laughs> Somebody once told me that. <laughs> yeah, definitely, because that's who that's who I need to hear when I'm getting it up. Oh, that was Rise's guy. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go beat his ass real quick. You guys, give me a minute. I'm gonna go fuck him up. Shade was playing when when Dougley was conceived over there on the YouTube chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Shade was was playing when I was conceived as well. Um, actually, no, she wouldn't. She wouldn't have been popular around the time I was conceived. But I will tell you that um, if not for the uh, Robin Williams movie "Good Morning Vietnam," I would not have been born. My parents were going. Well, I saw that on their first date. So if not having seen that on their first date and not having a good time with Robin Williams. 
in the magical uh, country of Vietnam, I may not have been born. Fuck. Alright, patrol member escaped. Whatever. Oh, these are like challenges? Is that what's going on? Cool, safe zone. What's up, Crane. man? You're Crane, right? Kyle Crane? Yeah, I'm Kyle Crane. Erwin Snowberg, movie director. I make these zombie annihilation movie series. Yeah, you've probably seen them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, no. So he's essentially supposed to be like a zombie movie like guy in the zombie we'll apocalypse, and he survived, of course. For various reasons, the details really aren't important. What is important is production cost. Makeup is a major factor. I'm talking head rot, arms falling off, guts hanging out, and when you blow them apart with guns, those squibs cost like crazy. So you've come to Haran. It's a tragedy, of course, but there's a fortune in special effects shambling through the streets just waiting to have their heads blown off for my next movie, Zombie Annihilation 4, Dying Lunch. <laughs> All I need is a gun nut who can drop in spectacular numbers, and I am told you are just such a man. Sorry about that, guys. I had to run off camera real quick and fix something up. Uh, my preview monitor is just kind of fucking up, so I had to go switch it over. But we're okay now. We're okay. We're okay. We got a bunch of people leveling up over here in our game. Ugh. Okay. Have a little bit of tea. My throat is getting sore. So what's the Viper for? What, uh, Flo, what, what, you, do, you, uh, do you vape Viper Venom? Is that what you're telling us? Is that if you do, that's badass. That's some next level badassery right there. Yeah, man, I fucking take some fucking rattlesnake venom and I just pop that into my vape and mm mm, shit is delicious. <laughs> mm. It's hip to be square. Yeah. That's definitely good uh, conception music. Top hits when I was conceived. Ebony and Ivory, don't you want me, baby? Ah, <laughs> yes, man. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Beautiful works of art. Ebony and Ivory changed the world forever. Yeah, my fucking vault dwellers are, are, are not doing so good. Maybe I should, um, maybe I should, like, rush production for food. Hopefully we don't start a fire. Hmm. Nice, success. Let me pop back over to our game. And, uh, why don't we do some stuff? Uh, let's see. Let's do a little bit of maintenance here. So, we got... Water, ready? Uh... Are you impregnating any of these people? You need to be impregnating some of these people. Get in there. Um, is this upgraded? This is upgraded. The water place could be upgraded. Ooh, 750. It cannot be upgraded. <laughs> Too damn expensive. Why don't we go ahead and build something new? Let's see what we can build. Uh, let's see. Storage room. Why don't we build a second water treatment plant? And put it on the edge over here. Because we could use that. That's very... Muy importante. Señoritas. 
Oh, so Flo, you're not that hardcore? You say that you're just typing random stuff? Oh, um, I'm still gonna go ahead and believe that you're that hardcore, though. Ah, oh, I don't have enough caps. Shit. I need fucking ten caps? Is that how much I need? Let's rush this. Let's rush these fucks. They're gonna get killed, I guarantee it. I guarantee you they're gonna get killed. Mmm! Alright, let me not guarantee shit anymore. Nick V conceived July 1982. Holy shit! Happy belated birthday, man. Sorry we missed it. We would have shouted you out on the Let's Chat, man. You're a, a very loyal subscriber, and we're, we're good to our own, man. We're good to our own. Uh, I just want to let you know, Nick V, since your birthday has passed, and, uh, you know, Eric is a very generous guy, um, apparently he's doing giveaways on his channel, and I'm going to start doing giveaways too, but his giveaways are much cooler than mine because he spends, like, $500 a week on fucking comics. Um, so, Eric Baron Von Comics, tweet him over at Baron Von Comics. That's at Baron Von Comics. I'm going to add that over in the in the Twitch chat and the uh, YouTube chat. Uh, tweet him. Let him know that you want to enter the contest and uh, you want some free shit. Because he's given away, like, busts. He's given away autographed comics. He's given away, like, a lot of really cool stuff. So, make sure you tweet him at uh, Baron Von Comics to go get some of that stuff. I'm also going to be uh, doing some giveaways, too. But, like I said... My giveaways aren't nearly as cool. I'm going to be giving away, like, these uh, these magic towels, essentially. You soak them in water, and they blow up. So I got some Avengers uh, ones. I got some uh, I got some more Avengers. I got some Spider-Man towels. I got Batman. I also have uh, this really fucking weird uh, soapbox. Spider-Man soap, which is interesting. So you can you can win those. I just I don't know what the contest is going to be yet. So once I figure that out, I'm going to start shipping those like all over the world. Sub or dub the most diverse issue. Oh, uh, divisive issue. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. If you followed him already, go send him a tweet, man. He's 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 looking for people to give shit out. And listen, this guy fucking in the Twitch chat, Fallout Shelter one eleven one thirteen. Like, go fuck yourself, dude. I'm sorry, but, like, I'm not really having other people jump on my channel and trying to promote things. Like, we're all here having a good time. We're all chatting. Like, fuck off with your robots. I know I greet sentient robots, but you're not the type of sentient robot that I want on my show. Sorry, I just, I had to get that out there, man. I'm really tired of, like, people jumping in the chat trying to fuck shit up for us. Um, I don't want to enter his giveaways. Sending shit to the Netherlands is super, stupid expensive. Um... It depends on what he's sending, actually. Like, sending media mail is actually not that expensive. Um, media mail from the U.S. is kind of like this cool thing. You could send books, you can send DVDs, you could send shit like that. Um, I don't know. It, you, you, he, might, he might be willing to still send you something. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, deny yourself entry in the contest. We'll find out, though. We'll see. Oh, we got we got this room uh, has power for us. Good. Let's take that. Take the power. Good. We can now upgrade our water treatment plant. Let's do that. Looks like we got way too many goddamn people in the vault. I'm going to start sending some people back out to go, uh, like, search for stuff. So why, why don't we do that? I'll take you. Whoa. Calm down, camera. I'll take you. You're gonna go outside. Go take a walk. I'm gonna take you. Oh, yeah, you're pregnant. You can't go. Alright, you stay home. Anybody got a stim pack? Do you need a stim pack? Yeah, you need a stim pack. Keep him alive because he's he's like our cockubine. You get it? Cockubine? Uh <laughs> Have you ever actually seen the overseer? That's fucked up. I'm right here. I'm right here, mate. I'm fucking I'm feed. I'm trying to figure out how to feed you, motherfuckers. How dare you? I got a stim pack. No, I sent somebody out to go find some fucking stim packs. We're ungrateful assholes. Jesus. All right. Collect the food. We're we are starving. We're thirsty. We're just fucked. We're we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, but I can fit one more person down here. In the water treatment plant. So let's do that. Let's get her in the water treatment plant. Let's get these two fucking. You're, you're a guy, right? 
Yeah, get in there. Talk, talk to this person. Hang out with her. Make her feel welcome. Make her feel at home. Make her feel good. All right, get outside. Go find us some shit. Let's get back over to Dying Light. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay. So, what's happening in Dying Light? Um, this guy just gave us a quest. Uh, which is good. We like quests. We also have a challenge. Why do I feel like there's gonna be a bad guy in here? Oh no, there's a guy over here. Jafar, what's going on, Jafar? Tell us. Shit, it's you again. I mean, what are you doing here? <laughs> Later, Duglay. I will relax. be I moderating the weekly poll chat time tomorrow, time so I can see you there. You can also pop on the Twitch or YouTube. We'll be Look, streaming uh, let's it. chat games with the same crowd. Eric Baron von Comics and uh, Jake Lionheart will be on that doing, program. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for joining us. Have a lot of fun. Uh, always so chatting with you. Far. It's always great having you by. So we have a good night. Enjoy your, your rest or your work. Whatever you're going to do now with your free time. found something at the construction site and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they re... ...and out what it is and either confiscate it, or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations, the job is yours. We'll be in touch. some of your favorite games out there in uh, in the Twitch and YouTube lands. Yeah, unfortunately... Oh, shit! There is a shotgun! Action. Holy fuck! Kill 40 infected with a special weapon within a given time. Yo! Shit just got real, my dudes. Shit just got really motherfucking real. Thank you so much for pointing that out, Nick B. Make sure, make sure you fucking watch all of my streams when I'm playing video games, man. I, I need you. I need you as, like... My fucking, my sidekick, my number two. Hell, you want to be number one? I'll be fucking number two. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is gonna get fucking awesome. Challenge starts in... T okay, here we go. Start! Oh, shit! Where you, motherfucker? Get the fuck over there. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, not those guys. Oh, shit. Oh, he fucking killed me. Damn. Damn. That, damn, that sucks. I'm going to take off the Fallout screen. Uh, the Fallout Shelter screen, just because I, I want to I wanna really pay attention to this here. Put the webcam back on. Okay. Here we go. It's terrible. The only thing Die, challenge there failed. Let's try it again. We can try again, but only because this challenge is failed. Wait, does that mean I can't do it again? No, and I'm gonna do it again. Action. Okay, here we go. Here we 
go. Oh shit. God damn it. Come on. I don't know why my game locks up. Alright. Shit, reload, man! Come on! Okay. Oh, I forgot I can kick too. Get over there. Okay, 12 zombies killed. We kill a lot more than that. Whoa! What the fuck? Whoa! That was crazy. Holy shit. This shotgun is no joke, man. Oh, dude, I'm stupid. I could have just jumped up there. Yeah, man. Fucking 40 zombies in this time. That's crazy. Oh shit, I killed myself again. Damn it. <laughs> well, that was immensely fun. I'll try it one more time, then I'm gonna move on to something else. Look, that was terrible. The only thing you were killing out there was my movie. Uh, we can try again. Oh, shit, I'm tired. Because this uh. isn't costing me anything. Yeah, let's try this one more time. Action. Can't miss. If you miss, that's it. time. Shit, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I got 40 seconds left. I got one more zombie to kill. Bam! I did it, baby. Mm, that that was rat. fucking awesome. Grace Helbig didn't win her Teen Choice Award. She was nominated for it. I don't give a shit, man. I just won the fucking zombie I'm killing challenge. Do I get that shotgun? Sure Can I keep it? Okay. Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Can I keep it? Come on. I'm gonna take 500 bucks cash, sure. <sighs> okay, that was a lot of fun. Double barrel shotgun action. Try to pick it up. Alright, let's go see what's up with Jeff.
get up there? Just fucking jump, man. Alright. Uh. Okay, Jeff is up there. He's up here. No, he's down. Damn it. Where the fuck is this guy? He's up. Okay, so we go up one level. Now I'm on the level. Is he in here? Now it says he's up. This is go. the Fort Jefferson Tower. There we you go. Will All right. Me as Commander Jeff. I make the rules here. Is that clear? Not Brecken, not Rice. This is Jeffville. Or Jeff Land. Jeffertown. New Jeff City. Look, Jeff. Commander Jeff! There's an emergency. The gas is out all over the city. Oh, yeah. That... that was me. You shut off the gas? The installation of the Fort Jefferson Apocalypse Wall required a temporary interruption of the civilian gas supply. But I'm all ready now, so you can turn it back on. Yeah, I think that's going to be your job. No can do. I'm too critical to base operations. We'll have to send someone who's expendable. <clears throat> Commander, I'd like to volunteer. You're a good man, whoever you said you are. I hate to lose you. Now, go open the quadrant allocation valves, plus the primary distribution gate. Then report back to me, and I'll restore the city main pressure here. Hey! If you don't get killed, you can be the first civilian to witness my apocalypse wall. Okay then, now we gotta turn on all the gas. That's my type of mission. I like getting gassed up. I'm gonna take a short intermission, because uh, I have to uh, go use the bathroom, as humans often do. I will be right back momentarily. All right, y'all, I'm back. Uh, I don't know for how much longer, though. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning over here. Um, yeah. Let's see what's going on in the world of Fallout. I'm too tired to leave the webcam on. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. So we got... Um, Okay, the water treatment plant seems to be going full capacity, seems to, seems like we use one more person in there. Feels awful, because he needs that rat away, he's not getting enough fucking rat away. Uh, let's give him some wrestling outfit. Let's go over here. Are they in the dark? Fuck, they're in the fucking dark. That's not good. Other armor. Ugh, damn. Uh, what can we do about that? Let's see if we can rush operations here. Nice. And we managed to get ourselves another lunchbox. Let's hope that we get something cool like a Mr. Handy or like a bunch of Rataway or some shit like that. Yes, Nick V, indeed. Lunch with the mother deer is always very, very important. You have to make sure to do that every once in a while if you don't expect to get an angry phone call. <laughs> Victory rifle. That's nice. Not nearly what, it, what we needed, 
Uh, but cool, nonetheless. Let's rush our power station again. Success! Oh my god. Oh my god. It's your lucky day. You get the stem pack. Oh yeah, we have a, a person out there exploring. Oh, she's dead. Oy vey. All right, I think uh, I think I'm calling it, ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, and sentient robots. I am completely out of steam. I'm very exhausted. I might um, I might leave the stream going a little bit with uh, with me playing this, but I'm I'm just I'm very tired now. It just hit me like a sh fucking ton of bricks. The exhaustion. <laughs> But yeah, check us out tomorrow. Let's chat movies, let's chat games, let's chat comics. Uh, tomorrow we're doing Let's Chat Games, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the same channel. Uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be on 9 p.m. And it's going to be a lot of fun, so I hope to join. I uh, hope you guys join us there. Uh, I'm probably going to be playing more Fallout Shelter, possibly Fallout 1, Fallout 3, uh, later on in that evening. But thank you so much for joining us um, all around the world. People from the Netherlands, people from... Uh, from New York, people from all over, all over everywhere. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching, and I look forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye-bye.